The Fox and the Crow and the Dog and the Shadow. Narrated by Sally Sharp and Lauren Grossberg. Adapted from stories by Aesop. Illustrated by Omar Gibson. Listen to both stories. How are the stories the same and how are they different? The Fox and the Crow. There once was a very hungry crow. She picked some food up off the ground and held it in her beak. I will fly up to the tree branch. There I will eat my meal in peace, she said to herself. Just then a fox looked up and saw her. He decided he wanted the food for himself. But how could he get the crow to give it to him? He thought up a plan. Calling out to her, he said, How beautiful you are, dear crow. If only your voice was equal to your beauty, you would surely be queen of all birds. When she heard she did not have a pretty voice, the crow let out a loud, Caw! and dropped the food out of her beak. The fox quickly picked it up and said, Your voice is pretty enough. You are just not smart enough to know when someone is playing a trick on you. The Dog in the Shadow There once was a dog named Max who found a bone buried in the dirt. He was very happy to find such a treasure. On his way home, Max came to a bridge over a stream. As Max crossed the bridge, he looked down into the water. There Max saw his own shadow. He thought it was another dog with a bone much bigger than his own. Max quickly let go of his own bone and jumped into the stream. He wanted to take the bigger bone away from the other dog. In the end, Max had no bone to chew at all. The bone he had in his mouth was swept away by the stream. The bone he saw in the water disappeared because it was just a shadow. Here are some questions to ask after listening to the stories. Which story used animals to teach a lesson? Which story had a character that played a trick on another? Which story had a character that wanted what another person had? Which story had characters that were unhappy at the end of the story? If you like our stories, give us a five-star review on iTunes. For more stories, go to smarttutor.com.